What's going on? Impaired driving? You haven't even done a blow test though. There you go, look at this. Yo. Oh shit. He's a new air cop. He's a new air cop. Hands on the wheel, buddy. Hands on the wheel, buddy. Hands on the wheel. It's undercover. Hands on the wheel. It's undercover. It's undercover. You're under arrest. Hello and welcome to the Two Shot Factor. I'm a millionaire. Brought to you by Zuckerberg Toast Crunch. <laughs> Every yummy bite fills you with reptilian goodness. I'm dying. Help me. Today we're going to be, yeah, we're in my room here. We got pictures on the background though and we got the palm tree. So, silent. We're going to talk about drug crime today and the punishments that await you if you deal drugs. Drugs are awesome. We're going to start, we're going to start with BC's, uh, they're bringing back these 60s style. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? And Smith, it is aeroplane glue. Oh, one whiff, man. Isn't you... it true that sniffing glue can damage your liver and kidneys? Cool it, kid. Uh, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Uh, uh... Here we go. Let's use these. On the next time you hit up your local theater, you'll probably notice posters and commercials that look like movie ads. Posters but that take look like a second ads. look. What you oh, actually see is Crime Stoppers' latest Guns and Gangs campaign. In our modern world. In Coming our soon modern to a world. landmark cinema near you. It's Crime Stoppers' latest appeal for tips to get suspects linked to gun violence and the drug trade behind bars. And the target audience? Partners of anyone involved in crime, parents and extended family. Wait, the gang member's gym buddy. We gotta get into action here. Hey, you gonna help, help me spot me on the bench press? Like, yeah, I'll help you, Vinny Arnold. Yeah, you seem kind of nervous today. You ain't like working for the police or something about those crimes we committed, are you? It's like, no, nah, not me, honey. Look at me. I'm, I'm just a pipsqueak wearing a YouTube jacket. I'm, I'm fragile. <laughs> or wait, wait, better yet, yeah, Mort Goldman. Or he'd be the snitch. <laughs> oh, oh dear, no. Oh, I need my glasses. Where the hell are the glasses? Oh, they're, they're so far. I can't get my glasses to do this part properly. Oh, no. Oh, can you turn down those bright lights? They're burning my retinas. And also, when I turn around, I've got this sensitivity in my anal area. I had to put these placebos in there for some reason. Oh, oh. I can feel the bright light burning my, my, my bum. Oh. That makes complete sense. Yes. Oh. Non-criminal friends and casual acquaintances like servers, bartenders, The gunman's and barber? And Hold on a sec. That's like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Jerry, you wouldn't go to another barber, would you? Hi, Enzo. Oh, you come up with a haircut. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, I was just It's gonna... my day off, but I take care of you anyway because you're my favorite customer. More good. than 216 gang and gang related arrests, and that's in Metro Vancouver alone. Yeah! If you gang related arrests. Oh, you, you remain anonymous, anonymous so criminals. If don't. If you send us your tip by our. Z <laughs> Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice! <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, uh, Jake. Hey, yeah, it's me, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, yeah, I'm in Surrey now, yo, I'm a gang member. Yeah, hey, hey, what's up? Yeah, I'd never snitch on you guys. Yeah, you're the greatest. Hey, you were gonna rat on me, are you, uh, Adrian? Of course I would. I got my family and stuff and my Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> I'd never snitch on you. What about that vacation in, uh, what is this, Aruba? <laughs> it's like that Beach Boys song. Hey guys, yeah. Look at his bicep, yeah, Rocky! Uh. Oh, oh, is that you? Is that you, Jake? Is that you? Anonymous. The Gunman's Barber. Flipping the script and making you yeah, I'll do the, the I'll star do it, hold of the on, show. So I'll do, I'll do one, one second. The barber shop was a place of crime. They were importing illegal guacamole from South America until Felipe talked. Ed, I don't want to say too much, officer. Please, will you cover my voice? Yeah, okay, let's let's do that thing with the voice, Lou. Do we get the thing with the voice? Tony, he was there. And there was also that guy from The Sopranos. He was pretty intimidating, especially when he beat that guy up with a lead pipe. Wait, what about that one, that song from South Park? I got something in my front pocket, something in my front pocket for you. I got a tape recorder in my pocket. A tape recorder in my pocket. Sleep putting dangerous people in prison. Messages dangerous will be promoted almost everywhere. 
Because no one will ever, like, take their place after. Online, public transit, theaters, and TV. There are several ways to report information to Crime Stoppers. Phone! You got a phone. 911, what's your emergency? My downstairs guy is using the hose. He always do the pot smoke too. I want him to go to jail. Okay, the police are on their way. And also, some Jay's pizza for your pain. The key Sussex here nine. is that Sussex you seven. stay anonymous. Stay anonymous. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, the one, the one with Smithers. I'd like to report a crime. <laughs> hey, Mr. Smithers. Hey, Mr. Smithers. Are you still ratting on the mafia? Let's uh, let's talk about Donald Trump. What was he doing? We're gonna make firing squads great again. Trump planning to reinstate firing squads and group executions. What? 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 Revealed reader mail that asked if former U.S. President Donald Trump was planning on bringing back uh, firing squads and group executions if he wins re-election in 2024. Hello, my American friends. It's me, Donald Trump. <clears throat> Just waking up from the hotel room. Me and Stormy Daniels. We uh, we sorted out our differences. Had a good romp. I slapped her around a little and told her to shut her stupid mouth, or else she'd be executed in graphic fashion. And that's what inspired me to bring back the death penalty by way of firing squad. The article's anonymous source is mentioning several ideas that had been floated by Trump, including expanding the use of the federal death penalty and bringing back methods of execution, possibly televising videos of executions. Death is dead it. Death is dead it. <laughs> We're going to get a few bad hombres that have been paid off. They said they would do some good. They read it out there. Former employees and other uh, associates. So, <laughs> yeah, I say we didn't know nothing, Holmes. You have the thing, or whatever. Mommy, mommy, his head's gone. Mommy, yay! Creating a flashy government-backed video ad campaign. L S D. Bad trips and a chance of chromosome damage. How do you know you got everything you got there can hurt you? Don't ever do this. If you don't want to do the time, don't do the crime. Also, we'll cut your bowels off. Yeah, no more fentanyl. I kind of like getting rid of the fentanyl thing, but uh, it's, you know, it's always there's always going to be a way. It's just another publicity stunt. President Donald Trump marshaled marshmallowed, I, that's what I saw, marshmallowed the full power. The full power of the dark side. They're the fools. Do it. Like, oh, man, you bring it in the empire. Well, man, I only robbed those convenience store. I was just selling a couple joints. Hey, man, I live in Idaho. I go potatoes. Hey. Wait, did I just go from a black guy to an Italian guy? He's a black eyed dying. He's the one and only. He's called Lil Red Russet. So Lil Red Russet. Yo, Lil Red Russet in the house. Bringing in drugs imported from Laos. Yo, I also whacked my spouse. Shit, I probably shouldn't have said that. Damn. Now I'm gonna be in a prison cell with a little mouse. <laughs> I've got all kinds of anal warts and it hurts so severely. You want some cold bread, Mr. Jingle? Trump was talking to Xi Jinping. When we catch a drug dealer, we give them a trial. We give them a trial quickly, and if they're guilty, they get executed. Then they send the bullet to the family, and they want to pay for the cost of the bullet. That's kind of like that scene in that movie, The Insider. I'm not a killer. I'm not a drug dealer. I'm just a man who worked for the tobacco companies. Jeffrey Wigand. Jeffrey Wigand. Fighting around the world, smoking around the world. Okay, uh. I got an informant wearing a wire. Fat Tony, is that you? Fat Tony? Hey, where's that voice coming from? This guy's wearing a wire. Take him out. My bad. So yeah, I got the Jeffrey Dahmer look going on. That's to bring the fear to them. That's what I'm doing. The curly hair, amazing. Just beautiful. And these gang executions, they're the biggest. They're, they're the best. They're the best ever. The best! The best! Grass. Anything wrong with pot? They're not sure yet. They just started studying about it. Hey, say, Lisa, people trust you. How'd you like to be a snitch? Unfortunately, people like Barack Obama and Joe Biden, and in the older days, if you remember, the Clinton crime family. You can never trust them. Got a bunch of cops around a place in Waco. David Koresh is in there trying to make negotiations with the Kool-Aid. Then the next minute, Janet Reno makes a phone call. And the whole place is burnt down. 73 or so innocent people, dead. If I were there, I would have went in myself and dealt with this. And I'm sure you would have too. That's Donald Trump. We need firing squads. We got to kill these guys. They're bad hombres. And some of them are Mexican. Goodbye. Oh, hold on a second. 
China, 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 China. Yeah, I'm on the cover snitch. Yeah, I wouldn't do nothing. I'm weak. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm tall, whatever. I'm only like five foot three. Yeah. Some of these people we're gonna execute. There's some very, is it this one? Whatever. There's some very bad hombres. I was eating a lot of gazpacho yesterday with some Mexican curry spices. It made me so gassy. Oh. Me and Jean Claude Van Damme, we're friends. Yeah, we're like midgets. Yeah, I ain't no snitch. Hey, I would never threat on you. Wait, wait, where's that hat? <laughs> Jimmy doesn't s stutter that much on South Park anymore. Have you noticed that? I've seen this. <clears throat> yeah, the last time I snitched on someone was in grade school. Oh, I was beaten badly. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, Jerry. I know this guy one time. One minute he was driving in so far, next minute he was missing a lot of his hair. Didn't look very good. Hold on, I'm just gonna do some typing here. Oh, that hurts my fingers. They're so callousy. Oh, I need some kind of gloves. Do you have some gloves I could wear? Oh, oh. 